Focus modes are one of the most powerful tools in iOS to allow you to take back control of your life and be more productive than you ever thought you could be. What a lot of people don't know is that you can set custom focus modes to come on at specific times and places. Not only that, each focus mode can have its own custom page that corresponds to whatever you're trying to focus on. Here's the four custom focus modes that gave me my life back. Starting out with my fitness focus. I have my fitness focus set to turn on automatically when I'm walking up to my gym so that I don't even have to think about activating it. I have a custom page set up to only have the apps that I need when I'm working out, such as my favorite work workout tracking app called Strong, which I use after every set so I can ensure I'm achieving progressive overload with my workouts. I also have MyFitnessPal, SoundCloud and Spotify for music, Apple Health, and the Gold's Gym app for when I have to scan my membership. When I work out, my phone is basically just a fitness tracker and music player. Next, we have my mindfulness focus. I have my mindfulness focus to turn on automatically every morning at 3 a.m. This way, the moment I wake up, my phone is set up for me to begin my personal development ritual of affirmations, meditation, and journaling, allowing me to start my day in the most effective way possible and not begin my day doom scrolling or anything that doesn't serve me. Next, we have my create focus. I work 12 plus hours a day, five days a week with my full-time job. Therefore, when it's time to work on the channel, I need to be as locked as possible so that I can make the most of the limited free time I have to stay on top of my weekly upload schedule. This isn't easy to do, but this focus mode helps me stay locked in on the task at hand and allows me to finish videos faster and more effectively. Last but not least, we have my sleep focus. One of the worst things you can do for your brain and your sleep is to mindlessly scroll on your phone right before bed. I've set up my sleep focus to promote winding down and prepare for a proper night's sleep. It consists of my smart light apps that I use to help me wake up in the morning, my habit tracking app so I can check off the habits I completed that day, my gratitude journal app, and my calm app to either do a meditation session right before bed or turn on their selection of sleep sounds. With my iPhone set up this way with very few notifications turned on and my four main focus modes, it results in less stress, more focus, and much greater productivity. I have more time for what actually matters and my phone no longer controls my time. It actually helps create more meaningful time in my life. I get more done in a day than I used to in a week. Here's how to set up your own custom focus modes to fit your exact lifestyle. First, go to settings, then focus, then hit the little plus sign at the top right. Next, just hit the first option at the top labeled custom. Now you're gonna wanna name your focus mode. Pick whatever color you feel best fits the vibe, and also choose an icon that best corresponds with your focus mode. There's three main sections to the customization of a focus mode. Silence notifications, customize screens, and set a schedule. I'll break down each section. Silence notifications allows you to choose which people or apps will bypass your focus mode and cause your phone to either ring or vibrate. You can really dial in your focus mode this way by ensuring that you're not distracted by people or apps that don't serve whatever you're trying to focus on. For my four main focus modes I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't have anybody chosen to break through them. But for my personal focus, I have it set to allow close friends and family to notify me when they text or call me. I have my phone set to my personal focus mode about 90% of the time, which helps me remain present in my day-to-day -day life. Next, we have customized screens. This is where it gets fun. You can set custom screens to each of your focus modes, just like I showed earlier with my four main ones. First, you're gonna wanna create the custom page for your new focus mode. To do this, start by having no focus modes on whatsoever. Long press the home screen to activate wiggle mode. Now just add whatever apps you'd like to a brand new empty page. Once you've chosen everything you want to be on your custom page, click the page dots at the bottom, which will open your pages library and uncheck your new page. Now that your custom page is created, you'll now create a custom lock screen and pair it with your custom page so that every time you turn on your new focus mode, that exact lock screen and page will be applied. Under the customized screen section, select the first choose option. Next, select the create a new lock screen option. What I like to do for my focus modes is color code them with a single color taking up the entire screen. But you can choose an image or whatever you'd like as your wallpaper. Once you've selected your wallpaper, you can customize your lock screen to your liking. I personally like to remove long press buttons at the bottom for a nice clean look and to assist in maintaining focus, but you can set them to whatever you'd like. If you need help with how to customize your lock screen, I made an entire video on customizing your iPhone and iOS 18. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. When you're done, hit add at the top right, then set as wallpaper pair. You'll see your new lock screen populate. Now it's time to pair the custom page you made earlier with this new lock screen. Simply hit the second choose button and then select 
select the page you made earlier and that's it. Now, every time you activate your focus mode, it'll apply that exact page and lock screen combo. The final step is to decide how your focus mode will be activated. Of course, you could just pull down your control center and select it from the focus mode menu, but I like to set mine up to activate via time or location if it makes sense. Hit add schedule and you'll see three options, time, location, and app. I personally only use the time and location options, but if you can think of a creative way to use an app to activate your focus mode, by all means do so. You can get extremely specific with the time and days of the week that you'd like to have your focus mode activate. Simply choose the exact time and days that you'd like and you're set. For location, it's as simple as searching up an address and then selecting the size of the geofence that you'd like the focus mode to be activated within. When you're within this area, it will automatically switch on, just like I showed earlier with my fitness focus. And when you leave that area, it'll automatically switch off. You basically don't even have to think about it. It's awesome. I know that was a lot of info to take in, um, but if you want to save this and go back, watch it a couple times just to get comfortable with it, by all means do so. Once you do this a couple times, you'll be good to go to make as many custom focus modes to fit your lifestyle as you'd like. Possibilities with this are endless, so have fun and let me know in the comments what focus modes you end up making. If you apply what I've gone over in today's video, I assure you that you'll have more time for what actually matters in your life. Here's my challenge to you. I want you to try this for the next week. I want you to compare your screen time today from your screen time in seven days after applying what I've taught and then shoot me a DM on Instagram and let me know if you've made any progress. I have a feeling you're gonna be blown away by the difference. I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description below. Make sure you drop a follow as well. If you got any value out of this video whatsoever, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've been growing rather quickly lately and I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Until next week, this has been Nicknology, signing off.